Once upon a time, in a small city, there lived a man named Max. He was a smart man who was always curious about the world and loved to learn new things. One day, while Max was exploring the outskirts of his city, he noticed something strange. Everywhere he looked, he saw piles and piles of electronic waste, old televisions, computer monitors, phones, and more. Max was shocked by what he saw. He had heard about electronic waste, or e-waste, before, but he had never seen so much of it in one place. He decided to do some research and find out what was happening. E-waste is a huge problem for the environment. As technology advances and people upgrade their electronic devices, they throw away their old ones. But these old devices contain toxic chemicals like lead, mercury, and cadmium, which could seep into the ground and contaminate the soil and water. Max also learned that many countries, including his own, did not have proper regulations in place to dispose of e-waste properly. Instead, a lot of the waste was shipped to developing countries, where it was often treated as low-cost, low-wage labor and the toxic chemicals were released into the environment, poisoning the air and water and making people sick. Max was determined to do something about this problem. He organized a community cleanup day and encouraged everyone in the village to bring their old electronics to be properly recycled. He also educated the people about the dangers of e-waste and the importance of recycling. Slowly but surely, the piles of e-waste in the village started to shrink. And as word of Max's efforts spread, other villages started to follow his example. Soon, the entire country was taking steps to properly dispose of its e-waste, and the environment was cleaner and safer for all. Max was proud of what he had accomplished. He had not only helped the environment, but he had also helped to create a better future for the next generation. And he was happy knowing that his legacy would live on inspiring others to take care of the planet for generations to come. E-waste is generated from a variety of sources, including consumer electronics such as smartphones, laptops, tablets, and televisions. Household appliances such as refrigerators, washing machines, and air conditioners, office equipment such as computers and printers, medical equipment such as x-ray machines, dialysis equipment, and hospital beds, electronic toys, and games such as video game consoles, handheld games, and electronic toys. There are several ways to reduce e-waste and its harmful impact on the environment. Repair and reuse, instead of buying a new device every time something breaks or becomes outdated, consider repairing it or finding ways to extend its lifespan. Buy from responsible manufacturers, Look for companies that have environmentally friendly practices, such as using recycled materials and designing products for recyclability. Recycle, when you can no longer use your electronic device, make sure to recycle it properly. Many electronic devices contain toxic chemicals that can harm the environment if they are not disposed of properly. Donate, if your device still works and you no longer need it, consider donating it to a school, charity, or someone in need. Use less, try to reduce the amount of electronics you use by making small changes, such as turning off devices when not in use and limiting screen time. 
Buy refurbished, buying refurbished electronics is a great way to reduce e-waste as it keeps older devices out of the landfill and extends their life. Support e-waste regulations, advocate for and support policies and regulations that require companies to take responsibility for their products throughout their life cycle, including proper disposal at end of life. By being more intentional and mindful about our use of technology, we can help protect the environment and promote a more sustainable future.